Now coming to the anatomy of the pulmonary artery. This is the MPA which divides into right pulmonary artery and left pulmonary artery. Then you have the lobar arteries coming into picture and later you have segmental and subsegmental artery. This is the normal anatomy of the pulmonary circulation. Normally, the upper limit for main pulmonary artery is around 29 millimeter, 29 to 30 millimeter, that is maximum 3 centimeter. Coming to LPA and RPA, the LPA, LPA is around 28 millimeter and RPA is around 24 millimeter and the low bar are around 16.8 millimeter. This is the normal upper limit of measurement of the various pulmonary arterial branches. So, how do you know that pulmonary artery is enlarged or not? For that, you have to take the size of iota and this is the main pulmonary artery. So, when you compare with the iota, the main pulmonary artery is slightly less than the iota. But in case of pulmonary hypertension, this is the iota and here you can see the MPA is almost twice the size of iota. So, you can compare the iota and pulmonary artery ratio to know whether the patient pulmonary artery is dilated or not. You can see the main pulmonary artery, then lobar artery, segmental artery, subsegmental artery and this is the microvasculature. So, from a size of 30 millimeter, it is coming to 0.5 millimeter in the microcirculation. And this part up to subsegmental artery, you will have fibrous clot. Here you can see the clot goes up to the level of subsegmental artery and microvasculopathy will be in the microcirculation. You will have intimal thickening and proliferation. Any intervention which you do, you can do up to the subsegmental artery. In the larger artery, you go for pulmonary thromboembolectomy and in the low bar and the segmental, you go for balloon angioplasty and try to remove the clots and in case of microcirculation, you go with medical therapy. Now, coming to the number of clots, sometimes there might be a large pulmonary embolus obstructing the entire flow of that pulmonary circulation. For example, a huge clot in the 